So they literally went to every single ship and burned their only means of escaping South America, basically. And so the only option that they really had at that point was to push forward and, and do what they came to do. Um, so basically, in like the late 1400s, early 1500s, people had made it to America already by that point. Um, and there were all these rumors of these like cities of gold and, and all of these cool things. And so uh, what happened was the Spanish government basically wanted that city of gold. And so they sent this explorer by the name of Hernan Cortez uh, in 1519. They sent him over there. They sent him with 600 men, a few dozen cannons and a few horses. And they basically said, you have to go conquer this place. And so he landed in what is the current day um, South America. And so this guy basically shows up there and everyone's tired, right? Everyone's super tired. They've been on this long boat ride over from Europe, super, super exhausted. And they have a few skirmishes and they kind of get their, their, asses, uh, their asses kicked. And word starts spreading through the camps that like, hey, if this doesn't really go according to plan, you know, we can go home, right? The ships are right there. If this really goes south, we can always retreat. And so uh, Cortez heard that people were kind of talking about this. And so what he did was he ordered the commanders of his army to burn the entire fleet of ships that they had arrived on. So they literally went to every single ship and burned their only means of escaping South America, basically. And so the only option that they really had at that point was to push forward and, and do what they came to do. And so about two, two to three years later, they had conquered the Aztec Empire. And the reason they did that is because they basically said, I don't have any other option, right? This is the only plan. If you listen to some of the more successful people in here, that's what they did, right? Like someone like Tyler, for example, at the last BAM gym, like literally quitting his job in his family business, no less, right? Um, obviously something that's probably pretty scary to do, but he did it anyway. And when you make that decision, that's what really propels you. And it isn't necessarily like that you have to, I'm not saying go quit your job tomorrow, but you have to fully commit to that idea.